Hi, my name is David Dewhurst. I've been working on a VR movement system that's all mostly meant, meant for walking rather than teleportation as the current method that is used in most games in VR. Um, I developed the system as a practice of my skills and trying out seeing how development within VR is. Um, the way the system works currently is you have grip buttons on the side of the Vive controllers. So first of all, you grip them, and then you just start swinging your, your arms uh, around. Uh, basically, take, it takes all the movement in the controllers and then puts moves the player in the direction the controllers are facing. So if I point, that's a, if I point to the left wall and point one to the right wall, it should move me forward because that's the that's the point in between, as it does. So that's how the entire control system works, and it's very simple. Um, the only problem at the moment is you do need both controllers to work. Um, I'm working on that down the line, down the pipeline for this, for this project. I have to have one controller movement, so you can use another hand for a shield or for a gun or a sword or whatever ideas I've got working in the in the works. Um, so yeah, here's a quick demonstration of how it goes. So if I want to walk around, walk around, in, a walk around in a circle, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, yeah, it's very simple. The main point of this is I can walk forward and be able to look left and right and be able to look around the area and not have any problems with uh, direction. Uh, like, if, for example, if I was using a gamepad with an Oculus or something like that. Um, yeah, I've developed all these areas to test, just to go around. If I want to walk around the pillars and run around, I can. Oops, Ugh, a bit of collision with the wall. A bit of collision there. Um, so yeah, there's he's stopping the player from going through the wall. He walks too far. So the players can't be walking on forever and forever and get to the end of the game. They do have limitations. There's nothing stopping the player putting their head through the wall, but we have I have stopped the player from being able to go through the wall because of collision. Um, another part of the system is it's kind of it's kind of just also to how you want to do. So if you want to, uh, if you want to create a smooth movement, you can do a train sort of cycle. So as long as the controller is constantly moving, you'll have a smooth movement. Um, it basically to how to however how the however the player is moving the controllers is how you move. So if you make one big movement, then you'll move in one big movement. If you make slow, steady, constant movements like this in big circles, then you'll move in one constant line in the direction you're pointing. Um, so yeah, and I find it kind of great because of uh, if you want to run somewhere, you can. Because all you got to do is move the controls really fast, and then you can run around the areas and just get around. I can look around in all different areas and not have any problem in direction. Um, it does look a bit stupid, you know, moving controls up and down very fast. And now tangled. Um, <laughs> um, but surely it does work. Surely it does work. Uh, for going up, up and downstairs, I've crit two. Work on two step movements currently. Uh, I have instant moving, which moves the player up instantly once they walk over that step, moves up to that height. And then I have smooth, which gradually, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's very, it works over three frames. So it doesn't take up too much time to move up a step. But it's just, it's just enough to make the player feel a bit more gradually going up. I feel like you're going, going in a bit more gradually up the stairs rather than instantly going down. So, yeah, that's, um, that's the other part of the system which I've been working on. Uh, from the feedback so far, I've had no one complaining about motion sickness, which is, which is fantastic to hear, which is exactly what I've been playing for the system. I haven't, I can be quite motion sick prone. Um, I felt a bit cool dizzy sometimes with some experiences and when frame rate goes low. But with this, I haven't had any problems, um, which has been great to hear. Uh, just other people as well experience the same thing I have. So I am planning to develop, to develop this idea further. Uh, again, one-handed movement system, uh, swords and shields and weapons, combat system with dodging. Since this system is great for getting around a big level, but I don't think it's that practical at the moment as it currently stands. It's not practical for a combat system because oh, I'm trying to have a flail a sword and then just quickly move over here to dodge. It's not. It's not practical, practical, which is the only problem. Um, but, again, I guess I'm working on that. Um, 
But yeah, that, that's the current state of this project, and if you want to give it a go, there will be a downloaded link below to the project which is on the Google Drive. Any problems, give me a comment, and I'll get it sorted out. Um, that, that is pretty much everything about this project. Uh, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and uh, I hope you'll see some of my future videos on this project. Alright, thank you.